Have you ever wondered how the biggest fish are caught in lakes? This question piques the curiosity of many, and today we're diving headfirst into that fascinating world. The art of the catch is a dance that's been perfected over centuries. It's a testament to the enduring bond between humans and the great outdoors, a thrilling adventure that unfolds in the heart of nature. As the sun rises over the calm waters of a lake, the stage is set and the game begins. Catching a big fish is not just about the size or the weight. It's about the anticipation that builds up as you cast your line, the hushed silence, the gentle lapping of the water against your boat. It's about the waiting, the watching, the patience. It's about that sudden jolt, the line tautening, the adrenaline rush that follows. The art of the catch is a celebration of the wild, the untamed, the unpredictable. Every catch is different, every fish a new challenge. From the elusive carp to the ferocious pike, each species brings its own set of trials and triumphs. But the art of the catch is not for the faint-hearted. It demands patience, resilience and a keen sense of understanding of the aquatic world. It's a game of strategy, of knowing when to reel in and when to let go, of understanding the fish's movements and its habits. The thrill of the catch, however, is incomparable. That moment, when you finally reel in your catch, when you hold up your trophy for the world to see, it's a moment of triumph, a testament to your skill and patience. It's a moment that makes all the challenges, all the waiting worthwhile. But remember, the art of the catch is not just about catching the biggest fish. It's about the respect for nature, the understanding of its rhythms, the appreciation of its beauty. It's about the love for the sport, the camaraderie, the memories made. So, are you ready to dive into the world of big fish catching? Let's get started. To catch the biggest fish, you need the right equipment. Now let's dive into the world of fishing gear. The equipment you choose can make or break your fishing expedition. Each piece of equipment has a specific role in the art of catching a big fish. It's like a well-orchestrated symphony where every instrument plays its part to create a beautiful melody. Firstly, let's talk about rods. When it comes to catching big fish, you'll want a rod that's sturdy yet flexible. A medium to heavy action rod is often the best choice. This type of rod can withstand the pressure exerted by a big fish, while still allowing you to feel the fish's movements. Next on our list are reels. Bait casting reels are highly recommended for big fish. They provide excellent control and have a high line capacity, which is essential when you're dealing with a heavyweight champion of the lake. Now, let's move on to lines. When dealing with big fish, a braided line is your best friend. It's incredibly strong and resistant to abrasion, which is a must when you're wrestling with a hefty catch. Hooks are equally important. Circle hooks are a great choice for big fish. They're designed to hook the fish in the corner of the mouth, reducing the chance of gut hooking and increasing your chances of a successful catch. Last but not least, let's talk about baits. Live baits often work wonders for big fish. They mimic the natural diet of the fish, making it hard for them to resist. But remember, the type of bait you use should match the species of fish you're after. It's not just about having the right equipment, but also about knowing how to use them. The right combination of rod, reel, line, hook and bait can turn your fishing expedition from a mere pastime into an adventure. Remember, the right equipment can make a significant difference in your fishing experience. So equip yourself wisely and you'll be well on your way to catching the biggest fish in the lake. Now let's talk about techniques and strategies. When it comes to catching big fish, it's all about perfecting the art of casting, reeling and setting the hook. Casting is the first step and it's crucial to get it right. A well-placed cast allows your bait to land in the right spot, ideally where the big fish are lurking. To achieve this, you need to master the overhand sidearm and underhand casting techniques all of which are useful in different fishing situations. Next comes reeling. Once your bait is in the water, the way you reel it back can make a big difference. Slow and steady is the general rule, but don't be afraid to mix it up. Sometimes a quick jerky motion or a pause can mimic the movement of real prey, enticing that big fish to bite. When you feel a bite, it's time to set the hook. This involves a firm, quick pull of the rod to ensure the hook is securely embedded in the fish's mouth. It's a fine balance between too much force, which could break the line, and too little, which might let the fish escape. Now let's talk strategy. Locating fish in a lake can be a game of patience and observation. Look for signs of fish activity, such as jumping fish or swirling water. 
Understanding the behavior of the fish species you're after can also give you an edge. For example, some fish prefer warmer, shallower waters, while others lurk in the cooler depths. Timing is another critical factor. Dawn and dusk are often the best times to fish, as many species feed more actively during these periods. But remember, every lake and every fish is different. It's all about patience, observation, and a willingness to experiment. So, whether you're a seasoned angler or just starting out, remember these techniques and strategies. With the right approach, you can turn a day at the lake into a memorable big fish tail. With the right techniques and strategies, you can increase your chances of catching a big fish. Fishing is fun, but it's important to keep safety and conservation in mind. Let's dive into how to make your fishing experience not only enjoyable, but also safe and eco-friendly. Safety first. It might be tempting to forgo the life jacket when the waters seem calm, but even the most placid lake can turn treacherous in a heartbeat. Wearing a life jacket is an easy way to ensure you stay afloat no matter what. Always be prepared for the unexpected. Hydration is key. You might not feel the thirst while you're engrossed in the thrill of the catch, but your body needs fluids. Always bring plenty of water with you and remember to drink at regular intervals. You don't want dehydration to cut your fishing trip short. Don't underestimate the power of the sun. It might feel pleasant on your skin, but prolonged exposure can lead to sunburn or even heat stroke. Make sure to use a good sunblock, wear a hat, and take breaks in the shade when the sun is at its peak. Now, let's talk about conservation. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of the catch, but we must never forget that we're borrowing from nature. It's our responsibility to ensure future generations can enjoy fishing as much as we do. Catch and release is a great practice. Not only does it ensure the fish population stays healthy, but it also adds to the thrill of the sport. Imagine the satisfaction of knowing the big one you just reeled in will continue to grow and thrive. Lastly, always respect fishing regulations. These rules are in place for a reason. They help maintain the balance of the ecosystem and prevent overfishing. It's our duty to follow them. Remember, safety and conservation should always be a priority when fishing. Enjoy the thrill of the catch, but never forget our responsibility to nature and ourselves. Happy fishing. So, what have we learned today? Indeed, we've journeyed through the art of the catch, the importance of the right equipment, various techniques and strategies, as well as crucial safety and conservation measures. All these elements intertwine to create the thrilling experience of big fish catching at the lake. We began by immersing ourselves in the art of the catch, the thrill of the chase, the anticipation as the line goes taut, and the satisfaction of a successful catch. It's not just about the fish, it's about the experience, the connection with nature, and the stories that unfold with every cast. Next, we explored the importance of having the right equipment. From the rod and reel to the bait and line, each component plays a significant role in the success of your fishing adventure. Having the right gear doesn't just increase your chances of a big catch, it also enhances your overall fishing experience. Then, we delved into the various techniques and strategies that skilled anglers employ. Whether it's understanding the behavior of the fish, knowing the best times to cast, or mastering the art of patience, each technique and strategy adds another layer to the complex and rewarding world of fishing. We also addressed safety and conservation measures, reminding us that we are visitors in the natural world. Respect for the environment and the creatures within it is paramount. Safe practices ensure not only our well-being, but also the health of the ecosystems we enjoy. As we wrap up, remember that fishing is more than just a hobby. It's a craft, a passion, and a way to connect with the world around us. It's about patience and excitement, solitude and camaraderie, challenge and reward. It's about the stories we tell and the memories we make. With these tips in mind, you're all set to embark on your big fish catching adventure. Happy fishing.